Hey, how's it going? It is sip day 13. Ooh. April 6, 2020, shelter in place, 14 day crafting challenge. I'm getting better and better at this. Day 13. That means one more to go after this one. And I've been like, what am I going to do? So <laughs> I decided what I need to do is I need, I'm going to. I'm going to show you this one. This is Lucky Clover Distress Oxide Inks. I've had these inks, man. I've had these inks for a while. And I needed to do... The reason I, I got the whole package or the whole bundle is because I wanted that Lucky Clover. Because I don't have a Distress Ink Oxide Ink uh, pad that has the Lucky Clover. I, I can't like to buy it because... It cost way more than to buy the whole bundle. No, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. But it just seemed like, you know, I'm just going to get the re-anchors and then these custom blend pads. I don't have to blend. I probably won't blend. Who knows? Maybe I will. But I put, I put four of them out here. Uh, the Wild Honey, Lucky Clover. This is Peacock Feathers, and this is Seedless Preserves. I did just watch a video uh, on how to make a custom blend, but I wanted to see what, if anybody uses vegetable glycerin um, when they're filling the pads. See, these are blank. Blank, white, cool. And what I want to do is I want to add some vegetable glycerin. This is my water and, and veggie glycerin container. And if you've been watching my videos, then when I made the faux leather books, I used this to give that, like, that fake leather look to uh, cardboard, to chipboard. So what I'm going to do here, my I, this is my idea. I haven't seen anybody else do it. But uh, they say that to revive a dried ink pad, you just spray some, or you just add some vegetable glycerin to the pad, and that's supposed to revive it. And uh, I was watching Lindsay, too, and she said you that should be done with dye-based inks, I think. So I'm thinking, oh, man, are these dye-based? So I went and I, I looked on the side of the Lucky Clover, and it says... Water reactive dye and pigment ink fusion that creates an oxidized effect when sprayed with water. Used to re ink distress oxide ink pads, but I'm going to, well, technically, no, I'm not going to re ink it. I'm going to ink it for the first time. So, uh, Lindsay, also, I have her chart, her ink chart or whatever. Uh, you can just Google ink <laughs> ink pads or whatever or ink chart and you'll be able to find it it's a, it's a pdf file and she was saying that these uh the re-inkers are not as concentrated that they're maybe too watery and they they fall out of your hands lickety split so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to give this a spray this has uh, more water than vegetable glycerin because now I'm thinking this is a pretty hard surface. I mean, it's it's cushiony, but it's still it's still kind of hard for me. It's hard. Are we going in the right direction? <laughs> Give it a whirl. Okay, so that's a. Uh, let me check. I also want to. I want to get the sides too. Okay, and it's nice and wet here. Okay, so according to this, to the directions that I've seen, I'm going to zoom in. Also, I probably won't be able to try this out, so I don't have any of my stamps or anything with me. So, sip 14, which, and I, you know, I said that it was probably going to be the flower petals. It's not going to be the flower petals because... 
I haven't <laughs> I haven't colored the insides yet. So ooh, that went on quick. Okay. The ones I watched I wanna can see myself going through this whole bottle. Where uh it was a bottle, somebody uh Scrap time, I think it was. Woo, I didn't even press that. And it just... Gonna get the edges. Ooh. Okay, see now, by spraying the... The bottom, or the... Spraying the sides here. Uh... It goes into the ink pad more by making those sides wet first. And the vegetable glycerin... Did I just go off track? I'm sorry. Easily distracted. <laughs> it, was the, it was the ink when it came out. Uh, the vegetable glycerin will prevent mold or, uh, you know, from this thing getting moldy. Wow, that is lime green in the screen panel but it's not lime green it's like a kelly green so according to this oh, oh. now <clears throat> i'm supposed to take an old credit card so i got this old sears card here this is the perfect size look it's the perfect size and run it across i'm gonna do it uh this way too and then just to let it sit for like uh, 5, 10, or 15 minutes. Okay, we have this. Okay, and I'm going to take this part out where I'm going to get the stamper. Okay, let's try it. I know, I didn't let it sit long enough. Just waiting, just waiting. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Zoom in so your viewers can see this. Wonderful, wonderful goodness. I was just thinking that I don't have a flat enough surface for stamping. <sighs> Cool. Let's do another one. <laughs> this is this design. This was this design. I also have these designs. I have some square ones too, or rectangular ones. But I really, I'm, I just like, where did I get these? Oh, it's very similar to, whoa, that's cool. I like that. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> that works right out of the box, so to speak. So, uh, also they were saying, you can, I'm not going to do it this way because <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. You can just kind of do that. Wow, that is, that's cool. And then I know that's what color that is. Let's do another one. Wow, I didn't think, I thought I'd have to let that sit for a while. But now I'm thinking that, and look how, what good a job it did. Okay, I missed a little bit there, but you know. I'll let that sit for a while, too. Okay. So, I did buy... I think uh, they come in a pack of three when you get these. And I think... I think it was maybe 
either twelve or fifteen dollars for the pack of three, so it's five dollars per thing. But it was really the only uh, affordable ones I could find. Okay, now of course I forgot. I'm gonna I'm gonna get those rectangular ones. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, so we'll put those there. Put those aside. Yeah, I could try uh, like two. Like the peacock feathers and the seedless preserves, right? Okay. Back away, back away. Oh, I wanna also wanna get the the paper off. I don't wanna wet the paper. Okay. You know, I do, I, I don't take uh, vegetable glycerin and, and water, but I take, I have a bottle, a spray bottle of filtered water. And when I'm making my cold brewed coffee, I spray the top of the coffee grounds uh, before I add more water in. First, I, I spray the coffee grounds and then I add water. And then I uh, add a lot of water actually to get the, the ink, not the ink, <laughs> the, the water to fill up a little bit in the container. Oh my goodness, what's Tammy talking about? <laughs> and then, uh, and then sometimes I have to spray it again with the water because the grounds kind of, kind of bubble up and to the top. So the spray bottle of water is a very good idea, and I thought, you know, I'm going to spray the top, because I think that's going to be, okay, now this one's going to be, about half, Not worried about going over the edge because I'm going to use uh, overlap the sealess preserves a little bit on the other side there, and I am going to just uh, put a little bit there. there and try not to go oops too much there Tammy <laughs> okay watch it look at her running across the pad <laughs> where are you going Right down, right down the side. I can see that going down the side there. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of overlapping here. Yeah, soak it up. We soak that up. Couldn't get a grip there. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, just a minute. Cut my finger. <laughs> yeah, I just ran my finger right there along the edge. Okay, now when I take the card, I have to run it like this. All right. 
I'm going to turn it around, wipe the card. Actually, I'm going to turn this around, too. Okay, so that's supposed to help it go down into the pad better. Woo. Now we will see. We're letting that sit a bit. Okay, we're going to try one of these square ones. Ooh, they are so cool. Let us try. I'm going to try this one. Just crooked on that side. Huh. I'm just going to do it like this. Don't be all over the place, Tammy. <laughs> Let's see. Whoa. Ready? Whoa, that's cool. Wow, I like that. That is awesome. Let's see if we get any more out of here. Man, these stamps are great. Ooh, a little bit. Obviously, less ink. I'm just being silly now. <laughs> Gotta wash it off. Okay, I wanna I wanna stamp some more. Was that this one? Which one was that? How quickly she forgets. Okay, that was that. That was. No. <laughs> I don't know what Oh, that was this one. Hello, Tammy. I'm gonna put that upside down. Let's try this one. Move this over a little. I'm going to put it side, um, like a diamond here on purpose. Yeah, man. I have to go soon. I've been talking too long. Well, I am going to cut out some stuff like rummaging around and looking for my stamps. I know I did see those earlier because I was looking for the my E6000. I have like two tubes of E6000. E6000. <laughs> Whoa, that is awesome. I'm going to do it like this then. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Maybe I'd do it like this again. And yeah, I just put my hand in the ink pad. <laughs> of course she did. I still likes to stain it. The peacock feathers. Cool. That is so cool. Oh yeah, there's that's definitely I'm gonna be playing a lot with these. So, should I do, no, what should I do? I do have other, other, where are they? Oh, <laughs> where are they, Tammy? Okay, I'm going to put things away. Okay, for this one, you want to do, what is that, why is that from the, the stamp? I want to do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this. I don't know. I wanna get that, you know. Get that! Get that for me! Okay, just let it sit there. That is so cool! Thanks, Tim. This is a wonderful idea. <clears throat> okay, what's the next one we're gonna play with? Possibly these three? Let's try these three. These three, or 
What if I can put some pink in there? Hmm. <laughs> can you do four? Four might be pressing my luck, I guess, maybe. And maybe Twisted Citron and uh, Salty Ocean, maybe? Maybe, maybe? Hmm. Definitely not the pink with the green. Nope, nope, nope. Unless you want mud. Okay. So... Let's do that. Let's get our paper set aside. We're gonna I'm gonna start with the the lemon one. The lemon one. <laughs> the the wild honey. Oh no, we're gonna start. Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. Step aside. I'm losing my steps here. tissue because I need it to be dry. Okay, I'm going to try the wild honey and about a third, a third of the way here. Does that look like a third? <laughs> That's I I'm not very good at measuring. Okay. And then I'm going to do the abandoned coral. Bubbles there, Tammy. That's not orange. It's like salmon. Hmm. <laughs> As you see, I'm not so good at a third. Candied apple. Oh, why I keep shaking, 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 shaking. Shaking it. Ooh, lucky for you. It was right there on that white <laughs> white part of the pad. See me just shooting it out there on top of the pad. I know you saw it. Oh, I missed a spot on the on the orange. The abandoned coral salmon. That's more of a salmon color. A muted orange. And then also go back in here with the red I know am I putting too much on yeah probably okay now now we're now we're gonna now now we're gonna let that sit we're gonna let it sit there oh wait no we can't let it sit <laughs> No, don't let it sit. Now we're going to take this and go this way. Because if we go this way, we're going to blend our colors, right? And while that's a nice idea, we don't really want to do that right now. I'm going to turn it this way. Okay, 
so that pays to wipe it off. Wipe it off between between your scrapings there. Yay. Okay, now let it sit for, what is that? Great. What is that really? <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, Tim. I'm going to use your scissors to cut that off. Put those scissors to good use. Now I want to let it sit this way. I'm sorry. Am I confusing you? Okay, let's try this one while we're waiting for that one to settle just a little bit. Flat surface, Tammy. Ooh, that's so violent. So I wanted to do these, maybe. That one, maybe that one. That one? No. This one? This is going to be like wild lime, right? I'm going to try it. I have to spray it first. I can't vegetable glycerin it. That's a terrible color in the... It's beautiful, but it's terrible in the screen panel. Yeah, that's okay. That means it'll look beautiful. Okay. <coughs> me, me, me. I have to go watch, uh, let's, let's make a mess today. She did, uh, I have to watch her two hour vlog so I can play my games on my iPad. I haven't watched her channel in a while and I just watched one right before I came on, one of her videos. And I thought, man, I have not watched her videos either. I have been... I am behind in my video watching for the people I'm subscribed to. <coughs> okay. We're going to try this one. It's twisted Citron. Maybe you call it Twisted Citron. Citron. Oh, that O is a long sound. Long O sound. You're going to use a Spanish word. I guess we have to... I can't roll my R's, though. I'm very bad at that. My friend puts me to shame, and <laughs> she's not even Spanish. And I've been living down here since 1991, <clears throat> where Spanish is the second major language down here. Okay. Whew, Tammy, you are being sloppy. That didn't pick up the way I thought it would. There she goes again. I'm <laughs> putting her fingers. Oh, that's a pretty color. It looks, oh, <laughs> in the screen panel. The screen panel doesn't do it justice. Okay, that looks like way more than a third, Tammy, but that is okay. This is salty ocean that I'm getting all over the place. I know I poured it right down the green, but you kind of want to overlap it so you don't run the risk of having white streak down the middle, but I somehow think that that is just not going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to get it on the side here. And I'm just going to dot it. Last night I worked on, uh, I did, what did I do? Oh, bookmarkers. And... I was, oh, I, I did the Windsor & Newton block of paper. I think it's 9 by 12. I don't think I'm going to 
that's going to be in my video because I did a horrible, horrible <laughs> job of it. So I don't think it's going to be make it to my video. And I'm thinking, okay, I can make that up. But one of the things I was doing is I was coloring the the background. I was making, you know, just painting for background, abstract whatever solid a bunch of solid colors together blue purple I think I did and there was a spot on the paper that stayed white no matter how much color I put down on it I'm gonna blend that and I'm gonna do it down here too am I out of view don't be out of view for this. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of this craftivity you want your viewers to see. And it, it there's some type of a coating on there, I guess, because it just stayed white. It wasn't like a big splotch of white. It was just like a couple of dots or something somewhere on the paper. Oh, cool. Okay, we gotta got to scrape it. Look at that blending. That looks really cool. How about a baby wipe, Tammy? <laughs> wipe it with a baby wipe, please. And now, dry it with the tissue. Ooh. I want to show you my defunct, <laughs> now defunct uh, credit card. Okay. <clears throat> so I said I was going to stamp for day 14. That's okay. I know what to do. I know what to do for day 14. Let's see if I can remember what to do. So we're going to let, oops, oops, maybe too much purple, Tammy. Maybe. I like purple. It's my favorite color. Well, that'll work. I'll do it that way. That is a really funky, colorful... <laughs> this next one is... Side inks. We gotta put our do a screenshot too. I know I've been talking way too long. Okay, working on this one. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so this one, this one I did. I didn't come off right. Oh dear. <laughs> Put it over there. Okay. Nope. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I was looking the red. <laughs> the red is the same color as the stamp, so yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking, no, it's not on there. <laughs> it's on there. Ooh. Very light. No doubt from the yellow, right? Okay, what else? Like? Let's see. I'm going to try one of the round ones, although I might have a, some difficulty because look how small they are. <laughs> hmm.
We'll just wait a little. Ooh, that's not too bad. Hmm. Did I do that one already? <laughs> yes, it's right there. Yeah, okay, okay. What are you doing in my way? I'm having difficulty. It is light, lighter, because I, I am using the lighter colors there. These warm colors are... I'm going to try just the orange and the red here. those up there that you can't see right now and that one's cool oh yeah that's pretty cool zoom in a little you can kind of see the a difference there okay so I'm going to I'm gonna try the Gonna try this one, and I'm gonna just use the orange and yellow. And we'll just wait a little bit. It didn't really it doesn't really take a lot of waiting. Whoa! That's cool. I really like that. That's very vibrant in the screen panel. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, there you go. Orange, orange and yellow. That's groovy. So let me try then, try this one. And I'm going to maybe just put a little bit of red and more of the orange and yellow, if I can make a straight line like that. Okay, got any spaces left? Let's do it this way, diagonally. And we'll see how it looks. This is fun. Cool. They get a little, oh yeah. That's what Tammy gets. Like <laughs> a little on the side there. Hey, since this is water based, sort of. Hmm. Yellowish tint. No, oh, that didn't do much, Tammy. <laughs> that looks terrible. But that looks cool. It looks like it's very light here. Maybe it needs to sit a spell. Okay, so this one now I'm going to do. Uh oh. <laughs> Fine, we'll just do it. <laughs> we'll do it like this. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, and the last one, okay, we're going to do, I have a round one left to do, to stamp with, and two squares. Okay, I will go, I will run those over under water, under the faucet there, so to speak. 
and we're gonna do this over here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that blending. I haven't even stamped with it yet. <laughs> okay. We're going to do the square. Cool beans. The last one we're going to do is this one. Whoa. Groovy. Okay. Can you see? You can't see it because I'm out of view. As you can see, I cannot, like, my fingers, my hand doesn't want to stay in the same spot, you know, going across. It wants to go all over the place. See that? It has a mind of its own. Okay, and then this one. Oh, do it this way. We'll do it this way. Diamond shaped. I might have to turn my paper. Don't turn your paper. <laughs> With this still on it. Groovy. Oh, that is really cool. Cool beans. Okay, and we're going to do the round one. The last round one is, is this one. And I'm going to try it first with just the or uh, orange green and blue and then do it with the blue and purple. I'm going to kind of get this off as much as possible. Okay. It does not want to... That looks cool does not want to stay. I just like moving it <laughs> back and forth. Uh, I had a very, 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 very busy Sunday. It was busier than Saturday. Saturday I was helping a friend. Ooh, that's cool. A little light on the green. Look pretty cool. It's the little things. Yes, they just entertain me to no end. Okay, that's what that looks like. I'm going to put her there. I might use these designs. Actually, tomorrow night I'll bring this paper back in uh, to show you, hopefully, <laughs> what I plan to do. I don't know if it's going to work or not. You know, it's like a lot of these things I try. Whoa. I try them for the first time, and I have absolutely no idea. I don't go on to YouTube and find out, hey, who's done this before me? Nope, I just go in and do it. So sometimes uh, my ideas may have been repeated by somebody else way back when. Uh, and sometimes I'll go in and look to see after I've done the video, has anybody done this before, or is this a brand new idea? And every once in a while... I, I cannot find anybody who's done what I've done. Like, <laughs> the paintbrush dryer comes to mind. I need to make a new one. I mean, I have it. It's upstairs. Okay. Right, let me do this. I need to do... What am I doing this? Am I doing this like this, right? No, like this. Okay, like this. <laughs> like that, Tammy. Good job. Very good job. So we have that. Somebody said, the person I saw do the blending, she said she kind of waits for these to set in, the colors to set in, you know, and then she kind of wipes it, wipes it down a little bit. 
Okay, I am going to, I would like to see a little bit less color there. Can I do, can I, can I do, let me see. I kind of want it to get a little bit, a little, blend it in a little bit. Don't muck it up, Tammy. Oh, that's just Tim Holtz's name. That's just Tim Holtz's name, that's all. Yeah, that looks better. How about this? I'm dabbing the... <laughs> The baby wipe. Oh yeah, that's a good. Oh no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> that's a bad idea, Jeremy. That's a good idea. I was doing the blue over the purple, and then getting some of the blue on the purple. Okay, and then switch your towel around a little bit here. Find a spot that's not purple-ish. Okay. Now find a spot that's not blue or purple-ish. That's kind of hard to do here. <laughs> Just a minute. Going off camera here, off the screen. Yeah, that works. I don't even think I'm going to do this one. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, now we have to do a screenshot. Okay, now you can't see any of the pictures. Well, you can kind of see some of them. Okay, so you ready? Smile. You're an awesome audience. Give this a thumbs up. And while you're at it, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> comment, like, share, and subscribe. I have to do it in order. It's a alphabetical and all, you know, reading teacher in me. I can't, I can't get away from it. I love it. Okay. Now, what do we have last time? Did I... Groovy's not, oh, maybe we'll get groovy today. That would be awesome, awesome, awesome. Randomize. It's after five in the morning. Oh, well. Have a fabulous day. Fabulous is just as groovy as groovy. Thanks for watching. Bye.